Welcome to part two of my Sergeant Alvin C. York video. This time we're going to be exploring the grounds that the house is located on. The house is actually located right across the street from the visitor center. And if you go down further that direction, he's also buried down there so you can visit that as well. Across this bridge is also the park where we'll explore later in the video as well. Now off to explore. You know, they've got like a makeshift foxhole out here where you can watch demonstrations a couple times a year. We try to make these adventures a little more wheelchair friendly, but as you can see, we're having a little trouble on this gravel. Watch your step. Now the wheelchair wouldn't fit in here because of the unevenness of the bars. This is what it must have felt like during wartime. Hiding in here, hoping that you don't get shot. Oh, we're coming up on a shelter. way through a cave. Oh, it suddenly got dark in here. Wheelchair definitely would not have fit through here. Oh, 
Oh, wow, look at like a foxhole thingy that goes all the way down. See, it's like another, another system. work go into this, reconstructing this. Outside of it now, I thought we'd take a look at these little sub-trenches. The one we were looking at earlier that links right into the main trench. Looks like they've got a enemy over there when they do their re reenactments. And this is the top view looking down into it. going to head back over to the house. The house, and as you can notice, that the wheelchair had a lot of trouble on the gravel, but rolls very nicely on the grass. They have a men's room and a ladies' room, and it's very nice, very nice inside. Fully air-conditioned, fully stocked, and probably one of the nicer restrooms that we've ever been in. Oh, the air conditioner feels very nice on this hot day. And the men's room is over there. <laughs> 